Allora, grazie a Ken Loach per essere qui con noi, siamo facendo questa intervista per la redazione di Infart. So, let's briefly introduce ourselves. We are doing this interview with you for the website infoout.org, an independent website who focuses its information on struggles in Italy and all around the world. So, let's start with telling everybody the reason why you are here today in Torino. I think most of the people know what okay. happened before, you know. The, the, you know, with Torino Film Festival and then you decided not to take the, the award and all these things. But today, exactly what you're doing here. Thank okay. you. Um, well, I'm, I'm in um, Torino, um, which I'm, I'm very pleased to be and made very welcome um, because. Um, i was to come to the film festival uh, and they were very generously going to give me and the, the people who worked on the films um, an award. But uh, Federico, who worked in the museum, uh, got in touch and said that uh, people are being forced to have a wage cut, they're being sacked unfairly. Um, and the, the outsourcing company that is doing that they're working for, that is doing the cleaning and the security, uh, has been anti-union. So I wrote to the festival and said about this and asked them to uh, deal with it. Uh, they didn't. So in the end, I said, well, I can't accept the award, um, which was a pity, but it's not a big issue. Uh, the big issue is workers' rights, is poverty wages, it's wrongful business. Um, and I said, uh, I'd be very pleased to come and meet um, people from the union, represent the workers and also to work with themselves, um, to come to Turin to do that. So I'm delighted to be here. And it's a great welcome. And I can't thank you enough for letting me come and um, say hello. Thank you very much. And I can really can understand because I work in a museum as a person. Right. So the other question is about your film that okay. we wouldn't see. Yes. So in the Torino Film Festival you were supposed to present your latest film. Yes. And so can you tell us a little bit about it and why you decided to do it and what kind of reality are you describing it and who are the angels that you are, yes. you are well, describing? Um, it's, uh, the film is a story of um, a group of young people in Glasgow who are in trouble with the police. Uh, they're unemployed and um, they they have no future to look forward to. So they, because they've, they've done wrong, they're given work to do for the community. They don't go to prison, they're given work to do for their money. And um, while they're there, they find a way of um, uh, liberating some very expensive whiskey. Um, and what happens with whiskey is when, when it's maturing, you know, it goes into cask and when cask, as it matures, the whiskey evaporates. And the part that evaporates, they call the share of the angels. Um, well, the angels in the film are the, the group of kids who have no work, and they, they liberate some of the, the very expensive whiskey. Um, and we call that the angels. Um, so it's about that. And um, it's, um, it's serious, but it's also, I hope, makes you smile. <laughs> So, and one last question, because uh, we are also here as precarious workers and yeah. students, and we would like to briefly introduce you another very important struggle that is occurring here in, uh, in Torino. Uh, at the moment, yeah, in 2001, 8,000 students, as a result of uh, cuts in the funds of the right to study uh, from, uh, made by the Piedmont region and the ministry, suddenly were with no scholarships and no accommodation which they had relied on in order to maintain their study, uh, you know. So uh, on December 2001, uh, 200 students decided to occupy a university residence that at the moment was closed. And and renaming it Verdi 15. Renaming it Verdi 15 yes, yes. after the address of the, right, of the, right, right. Of the building, you know. Right. So the occupation lasted almost a year, having engaged in various activities, languages, classes, gym. Uh, uh, 
seminars and all these things. In October 2002, a massive police squadron violently cleared the very fifteen right. without any reason at all. Right. Now the students have occupied, occupied other two buildings completely abandoned for years, where they began with an awakening campaign to call people's attention to their problem and to look for the support of important personalities willing to show their, solidar their solidarity to the cause. So the question is, what do you think about the uh, dismantling of the welfare state and the increasing privatization of education institutions that in Italy as well as in England and all over the world uh, causes social exclusion and widespread protest? And then the other thing, if you could give, if you want your solidarity to, to, the, to the project. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I, I yeah, no, explain it. You explain it perfectly. Because you did really well. Um, yeah, I, I think uh, occupations like the one you, you mentioned um, are very common and a, a very reasonable answer to, um, to the problems that students face. Um, what's the point in big empty buildings where people have nowhere to live? It, it's, uh, it's a nonsense of the market economy. Um, the market economy produces homelessness and it produces unemployment um, and it's a very fair response that people have nowhere to live use empty buildings and uh, I absolutely support that. Um, the point of privatisation of education again is something we're facing in, in Britain where private companies are taking over schools, where students have no have huge sums to pay for their courses and no means of, of paying it back um, and the debts will last for many years of their lives. Um, they'll find it more difficult to find a house when they're older. So the debts that students carry are, are in our country are a huge burden. Um, and it's no way to organize education. Um, education is something that, that benefits the whole of society. And we should all pay according to our need, uh, according to our ability. And people should be educated properly by the state, by the, by the, by the funds of the state. Uh, which ben and then their education benefits us all. And we have a more generous, a more open, um, a more knowledgeable society. So that's the world we want to see. Um, the current economic system will not provide it. So I think it's right to fight on every front, to fight on, on homelessness, to fight on education, to fight on health, to fight on job cuts, wage cuts. We have to fight on every front. And the occupation that you're describing sounds to me like a very good battle to fight. So good luck to the people in the occupation. You know that I just received a message that today the students have occupied the mall. Oh, right. <laughs> Right, but the, um, the cinema museum. Yeah. Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no. Well. Because there was a big manifestation of students well. in solidarity of the workers and uh, occupied. Well, you know, I should get the blame for this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they'll come and arrest me now. <laughs> Okay, so thank you okay. very much for this interview. Okay.